Well, folks, on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, we're doing something very, very unique that really probably many of you never, ever experienced before. And I'm going to be squirrel hunting, okay? Now you said, ah, okay, Redfern, what do you mean squirrel hunt? We all squirrel hunt. Well, no, not this way. There's no guns, there's no dogs, but there's a very unique bird called a falcon that we're going to use today. And joining me today on the show is the president of the South Carolina Falconry Association, Paul Ward, with his bird, Evie. And we've got a really great action-packed show for you today. But, you know, Paul, tell me about Evie. Tell me about hunting squirrels with falcons because this is really, really unique, and it's really going to be a special pleasure for us to have you guys on our show today. Yeah, absolutely. We're happy to have you here. Uh, Evie, she's my 12-year-old female Harris hawk. Uh, I do squirrel hawk with her a bit. We generally use red tails out here because they are fully designed to hunt squirrels. Um, it's the appropriate game with the appropriate bird. Um, what we're going to be doing is flying a few different birds with you today, and uh, we hope to really bust them up. Uh, folks, I tell you what, I don't have a gun, I don't have a dog, you're not going to see that, but we're going to have some squirrels be rattling through these trees. So stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to have our first hunter up in the box. And Paul and I are going to walk behind them, and we're going to narrate a little bit on what you're going to be seeing on Hunting with Falcons right here on Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. Folks, this is why you come down here. <laughs> Pretty little small mouth right there. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great hunting destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. Well, folks, we're just about getting ready to start brace number one here, and I want to introduce our first hunter this morning. Uh, her name is Izzy, but her owner is Richard Leapart from Columbia, South Carolina. And I will tell you, Richard, thank you for doing this this morning, okay? And, and you know, Paul, I tell you what, um, you've got some great members Absolutely. in this organization, but you wouldn't have the organization without what's on Richard's arm here. Uh, tell me a little bit about Izzy. Uh, Izzy's a juvenile red tail. Uh, hawk. She's about 10 months old. Uh, was taken into the falconry program back in September and uh, she's a great hunter and hopefully she'll be a great hunter today. Well I, I will tell you uh, folks for all you uh, Auburn fans out there okay we're gonna be probably doing a lot of War Eagle this morning. No I'm just kidding um, but again this is really a special treat for us to be squirrel hunting this morning without a dog and without a rifle okay and watching these beautiful birds of prey do their thing with their passionate hunters um, that keep uh, these falcons uh, in shape and what they are today. So with that, Richard, it's yeah. all about yeah. you and Izzy from this point. I tell you what, you're going to be out front. Paul and I are going to be kind of narrating the hunt, and I'm kind of excited to get this started. This is a first on our TV show. Look at that beautiful bird. Mm. Wow. Look at that. Now, um, how many squirrels has she found over her lifetime? Um, she's probably taking 20, 20 plus squirrels. No kidding. Um, a handful wow. of cottontail rabbits and uh, a couple of fox squirrels and a raccoon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. More, more than. Uh, there she goes. More than. Uh... Now, Paul, I, I will tell you okay, we've got Izzy's in the tree. Mm -hmm. Now, that is that kind of step one. Is that's that game where, on. That's, that's where that's, they go. That's game on. She okay. waits for us. We start moving. Okay. We start making a little bit of noise for her. She's gonna follow us on her own because that's how Richard trained her. I got you. And uh, once we see something, she'll certainly let us know. Okay. So now, as part of the hunt, um, you got other guys that are gonna shake vines and yes. just kind of locate. We, we gotta, gotta locate. The we squirrels. gotta stir them up a little bit, and then she's got much better eyesight than we do. Oh, 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 Okay, Paul, tell us what's going on here. All I know right. when, we're on, we're on when you guys say is that, that's a signal that's that there's the a squirrel call. in the area? 
Yeah, we're, we're on a squirrel now, so now she's watching. All we gotta do is move it again. Okay. Come on, Izzy. Hup, hup. She can see it. Good for Izzy, bad yeah. for the squirrel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get a little closer to the base of this tree. We don't want it to come down. Okay. And we want to watch what tree it skips to. If it goes across, we want to make sure we don't let it hit the ground. I got you. Exactly. So I when the squirrel you. moves, she can dive straight down and rake it off the tree. Wow. Now, is there ever any worry about her hitting a branch and hurting herself or anything? You know, they do this so much. It's yeah. just, it's all natural for them. So uh, things happen. Right. So that's just given with any animal, but we're not super you. worried about it. Girl, look at that. She's, she's oh carrying it. She's carrying it. Let's go, let's go, let's Woo, go. Okay. She's not carrying it. She's getting it away from me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Good easy. <laughs> All right, Paul. It seems like through the bell and telemetry, you guys have found her. Got her. Oh, there she is. Wow. Oh, goodness. Wow. Look at that. That is fantastic. Now, will she relinquish it? What he's going to do is trade off with okay. another piece of meat. Oh, um, she's been trained to do that. So what he's going to do is kind of a little sleight of hand trick. Give her the food that she wants, and he's going to slide that squirrel into his game bag. I got you. Okay, so now we're getting her away from the lure mm -hmm. and getting her back on the handler. That's right. Okay. And that's normal routine each time. Exactly. Just like that. Now, she's already caught a squirrel. Mm -hmm. We've got this far. Is she ready to do another one? If Richard if, wants if her to you, hunt again, she'd do it again right now. Really? That's right. Wow. Well, and I have to, to tell you that, you know, folks, what is so excited about this, there was a wild red-tailed hawk, and I don't, I'm not sure if you heard it. You probably didn't, but we saw it that was flying around out here as, as Izzy was, was hunting the squirrel up there, and it was kind of fascinating to watch she kind of held in place and there was one beep and whatever noise that she made, I mean, and it left the area. Yep, yep. Uh, that's just, that's remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Well, I, I am, I'm, I'm telling you, that this, this, this <laughs> that was is a good so, hunt. This is exciting. That's how, that's how I want it to go. That's exactly how I want it to go. My goodness. Well, my hat's off to you guys. I can't wait for hunt number two, Let's okay? Because I, I will tell you, matter of fact, uh, my wife, as I was leaving this morning, just told me, she said, as I told her what we were going to do, mm. she said, well, you can bring them over here because we got more squirrels than we know what let's to do, do with. So <laughs> we, we always need more land. Let's do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to go on hunt number two with Paul Ward and his great guys and gals here with the South Carolina Falconry Association. The Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. When you have a two-inch lift, when you have Goodyear Duratrac tires, when you have Rancho shocks and an integrated dual exhaust, when you have all that, the last thing you'll need is a road. The Chevy Silverado Trail Boss, ready to off-road, right from the factory. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the Southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward, we are Florence, South Carolina.
Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By Lake Hardwell Country, the land by the blue wall. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the city of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. Well, folks, listen, this is brace number two. Um, and on our second hunt here, we're uh, gonna be hunting with Athena uh, and her handler and owner, uh, Brantley Broach. He's the secretary treasurer of the South Carolina Falconry Association. Uh, Brantley, tell us about Athena a little bit. Uh, this bird was trapped up in uh, Spartanburg area about nine years ago. This will be our ninth season with me. Um, does pretty good usually, so we'll see how it goes. This and week. so she is a mature red tail? Uh, correct. Yep. She's, okay. uh, she'll be nine years old this year. Wow. How long have you been doing this? Uh, right, at, right at nine years. Have you really? Wow. Yep, this is the first bird that, um, first bird I got. Well, you know, Paul, I tell you, you have experienced members of the association, obviously. And one of your goals is obviously to, to keep these birds of prey uh, in their element and that sort of thing. And I know that you guys do release some of these birds back into the wild. We do, yep. Well, we increase their survivability rate basically a thousandfold. Wow. Uh, there, um, there's several things in the wild that will kill these birds. Right. And we reduce that chance greatly. Uh, we do want them to breed still, so we'll hunt with them for as long as we need to hunt with them and we'll cut them back into the wild again and let them start over and raise their own families maybe one day down the road trap one of those birds and do it again there you go well i will tell you right now i'm looking forward to athena doing her thing we'll see how it goes she is a beautiful beautiful specimen um i know you have to be proud of what you do the passion shows um but we're ready when you are all right, I'm gonna, let's do it. We'll walk right down here. All right. See okay. What happens. Yep. Great. Oh, there she goes. All okay, right, Paul. All right, game on. Game on. All right. I, I love the terminology. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Paul, talk to me a little bit about the last uh, hunt. Um, again, one of the peculiar things about it is when they locate. Um, the squirrel. Uh, of course, you've got all the guys shaking the trees and mm -hmm. kind of help find the squirrel. Um, is is that done every time you hunt? Unless a squirrel makes the mistake of coming out on its own. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, we want to produce game, just like any other hunter who's uh, trying to flush something for somebody. I got you. So we produce the game, and then once we do, uh, the rest is up to them because we can't fly or climb that fast. Okay, I got you. So Athena is. She's behind us over here. She's yep. behind us. Okay. She'll be following us, so we're gonna stay close to Brantley. Okay. She just went. Oh, there. She may not want to play. Uh oh. <coughs> Athena, come on. So he's gonna try to call her back. She's trained to the whistle. There she is. Oh, there she is. There she comes. Oh, there she is. Yeah. All right. She she's reengaging. We're good. Let's, uh, we'll find out. Let's get some boxes. That's impressive. I mean, it really is. Yeah. Now, a nine-year-old um, obviously is pretty seasoned. Yes. Okay. Yep. H how much longer can one expect that bird to hunt? 20 more years. Really? Up, if, up. if he really wanted to. Yeah. Right. If he decided to keep it and not release her into the wild, he can hunt her as long as she'll live. Oh, goodness. I've known people who have had birds that got up into up, the up, near up, 30s, up. I believe. Really? Yep. Now, she's checking that she's, nest yeah, she's again. Committed, she's that committed to that nest. There. Well, there's more in the woods. Let's try to find another. Okay. There it is. There's. Ho, 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 ho. She got it. She got it. She got it. She's hanging yep. with it. She got it in her she grasp. Half a mile? Yeah. <laughs> probably. She's going to go away from us, that's for sure. <laughs> She needs to fall right down. I'll be more than tired of seeing the seabird now. Yeah. <laughs> Break it in. 
She got it in her grass? She got it. Okay. Coming down. There she goes. Oh, I see. She got it. Yeah. Stay tuned. When we come back, more from the South Carolina Falconry Association. Plus, we head over to the sportsman's table for another great recipe from the city center market in Florence, South Carolina. Avoiding propeller strikes. Many propeller strike injuries can be avoided by turning off the engine when passengers are boarding or disembarking. Never start a boat with the engine in gear. Make sure all passengers are properly seated before you get underway. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. No matter if you're hunting private property or public property, make sure you're wearing an orange hat, vest, or coat of solid, visible international orange so that you will be seen and identified as a hunter, not as a game animal. Wearing visible orange could save your life. Be safe, be seen. When is the last time you traced your roots, not your family's roots? The roots of the food you eat, those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina, Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Well, folks, welcome to the City Center Market in Florence, South Carolina. And joining me today is Chef Val Criswell with Peckaway Farms and SC Real Foods, okay? And she's going to tell us about SC Real Foods in just a minute. But you've got to tell me, this is going to be a great recipe. Yes. I love everything that you've got. Right, out. so we're going to build a charcuterie and cheese board. Oh, wow. Those are very popular right now. Well, for inter Yes, for entertaining. And you know what? I feed my family with some of the, we just put this out for dinner sometimes. Children love it. And adults love it no, too. This is awesome. Let's, let's build it because I'm yeah, telling you, I may it. eat some of this so before this we is, get done. This is really great for easy entertaining. And you can get online and you can go to Google and you can go to Pinterest and you can see all the fancy things that people are doing. You can do that. But I'm just going to dump this stuff out and you're going to see how elegant it is when you just put it out. There you go. Yep. So we're going to start with some pepperoni. Okay. Um, this is just sliced pepperoni. Find a good quality one. This is a good uncured pepperoni. And then I've got some sopressata. This is actually from North Carolina. Okay. Okay. And so you see, do you see how easy that is? And you don't have to make it real fancy. Some people cut little wedges and they make it all one kind of way, but I don't feel the need to do that. No, that's true. <laughs> I, you're doing I've good so two, far. I've got two Ash County cheeses for you. Those are from Ash County, North Carolina in Jefferson. And then I've also got some Clemson blue cheese for you. Ah, there you go. Now listen, what goes great with blue cheese is something sweet. I've got Uncle Jim's Southern Honey. We sell this at SC Real Foods. Okay. And so this is really good with the blue cheese in particular because the sweetness of the honey, along with some of this red mash sea salt from McClellanville at okay. Red Bull Bake uh, Sea Salt Company. There you go. On top with the cheese and that and your crackers and your guests will just be so excited. I tell you, I'm impressed. You can spend time with your guests and you don't need to spend time in the kitchen. 
literally, you can just do it like that. You don't even have to be particular with that. How so, many ladies would love to be able to do this with a guest? Yes. Yes. It's easy and it's fun. And it, you know what? You just saw me dump it out. It's still elegant. There you go. Yeah. Well, these other two things you had, tell me about yes, those. Yes, so we have some praline pecans from Young Pecans. Okay. And we also have some red pepper relish from Due South, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, SC Real Foods, okay, tell me about yes. them real quick. Thank you. SC Real Foods um, is our farm food store, and we sell ready-made foods in our kitchen. We've got a huge staff that makes food for you, so you don't have to cook in your own kitchen, but you can still eat homemade, high-quality food. We also have local farm products and um, good for you groceries, and we ha also have a smoothie bar that's real food also. There you go. Yeah. Well, Val, thank you so much for being a guest today. My on the pleasure. Show. Thank you. I appreciate it. And folks, listen, if you would like more great recipes, more great food, just like you saw on today's Sportsman's Table, tell you what, you can log on to certifiedseegrown.com and see for yourself what's fresh on the menu. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. When you have a two inch lift, when you have Goodyear Duratrack tires, when you have Rancho shocks and an integrated dual exhaust, when you have all that, the last thing you'll need is a road. The Chevy Silverado Trail Boss, ready to off road, right from the factory. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. Bob Red Ferns Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. Abu Garcia, fish to win. By Upcountry South Carolina. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. By Linex in Greenville and Rock Hill, South Carolina your Linex headquarters for all your truck customizing needs. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Okay, Paul. Brantley, we found him, Richard. Richard's got her. Oh, man. There she is. Oh, there she is, right there. Yeah. See how she can camouflage herself? Yeah, that, that is absolutely fantastic your beds uh-huh yeah beautiful display now paul tell me now when they do that mm -hmm. they're trying to protect that prey from from other birds exactly so that's called mantling when they cover it with their wings like okay. that uh, basically what they're doing is just trying to protect it keep it for themselves um, and they do that because other predators will come from on top of them and try to take it They'll come from above. They'll fly down and swoop down and try to snatch it I up. I got you. Well, I will tell you, I know Brantley 
can be proud of this one because absolutely uh, How's you know, the chase? again it's not one thing where you have an audience i doubt they're used to this so right but she just kept coming back and coming back and it looked like it appeared that she took that um out of a nest she did she ripped it straight out of a nest yeah so so now the process is is to to get the squirrel from her and swap it out for her he's, feet. He's going to trade off. Yep. Okay. Now that that's the fascinating part of this, you know. Um, you know, folks, I will tell you as as you watch what Brantley's doing here, um, this is just one of those things that is just simply remarkable. And I have learned so much this morning from hunting squirrels with falcons. Again. The unique thing about this, Paul, I, I didn't hear a dog bark, and I didn't hear a rifle shot. No huh? dogs. And I know you guys and gals have got to be proud of the job that they do because, again, that's part of the satisfaction of owning one. That's of these the big hunts. picture. It's all about yeah, the hunt. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Mm. And she's proud of that, too. Oh, absolutely. Look at that. <laughs> she knows she's about to get some food, though. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's see, she jumped right off that squirrel. Oh goodness, look at that. Wow. That is fantastic. Another successful hunt. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And a good Athena. kill. Good kill. And Athena yeah. <laughs> is just absolutely wonderful. Hmm. Yeah, she even knows she's proud, yeah. huh? Look at that. Oh my God. Brantley, you have a lot to be thankful for. Oh, thank okay? You. But Enjoy your passion it. shows, and thank Athena you. is just a, another one of those beautiful birds that I just didn't know existed. And I will tell you, and Paul, come over here, man. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Richard, you come on over here too, brother. <laughs> you know, one of the great things about what I've learned this morning is this appreciation for the time and the effort that you guys have to spend, and gals, yeah. and the association to protect these wonderful birds. Plus, but you still get an opportunity to do something in the outdoors, and it's called hunting. That's right. Okay, it's, and it's I'm all about just, the hunt. I am just so impressed. Uh, it's wonderful that you guys do this, I mean, almost every day. And so, my hat's off to you, brother. Thank, thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, thank you. Richard. Yeah. Thank you, thank and you. folks, listen. Our first squirrel hunt on Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine without a dog, without a rifle, huh? And with falcons. If you want to know more information about the South Carolina Falconry Association, just go to Bob's Top 16. I'll put their website up there. You just want to go and, and try and support them. I will tell you, wherever they are in their events, it'll be a great opportunity for you to see something that's really worthwhile in the outdoors. Again, as we like to say each and every week, the outdoors are our passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you back here again next week with another great episode on Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine.